We're going to use OneNote to provide thorough documentation of everything that we do in this class. This is going to be 20% of your final project grade and it's very important. Done correctly, this can also be part of your portfolio. When you're working professionally, it's critical to document everything that you do because someday you may have to redo it. I'm going to use OneNote. I have an, I'm using a Windows 8 machine where I can get it for free here as an app because I'm on a giant tablet. But you can also go into OneDrive which is Microsoft OneDrive and this is a free application and you can create your own OneNote document online here. Again, totally free and I recommend using this because it's available to you at home, at school, wherever you go. So I'm going to create a notebook in here and it's completely empty so I'm going to create a new page so I want to and I'm going to create um, WordPress documentation and it's pretty easy to use OneNote you can add notebooks, which I have Mary's notebook. It's the only thing I have in here. It's fine to name it that. You can have sections. You can have pages. So I'm going to start adding some sections. I want my online documentation. and my local install documentation. And then I can put pages under each of these. And the easiest way to do this is to put in links and information and you can also put in screenshots. So I'm going to go back to my practice install. And that's where my information is. I'm going to go into Site Admin and Users and I'm going to capture this and I like Jing that's free, that's a little ball that's up there and I'll include the address of where I'm at and the administrator accounts that I created And then I can just copy this and paste it right into my server info. And I like taking pictures because it makes it very easy for me to keep track of everything and I can make it a little bit larger, grow, shrink, put in alt text and then I can also start typing some notes underneath it. And I would keep these passwords, I'm not going to put them up here publicly. And 
you may or may not choose to do this. I'm working from home and I'm not really worried about whether or not these are secure. You might choose to keep these passwords elsewhere. But if you're working on a lot of different sites, you will want to document those at some point because you're not going to remember everything. Okay, so that shows me my address. And I may also copy and put in the address right there and that'll give me a live link to it. Now I can go back and I can go into my local install and I like to do that here when I can take it to log in And you do typically want to have it remember you, and I will again capture this image locally showing me where I'm at. That shows me my path here. It shows me my username. I will capture the image, copy, go back to my notebook. Load in the image. And if I want, I can select my format, make it grow a little bit. And I do also have OneNote live on my machine. Oh, well, it's installing. I should have it. Okay, so if you have it, you can load it in here. It's more powerful. And so I'm going to also capture this as a link. Now if you wanted to, you could also go into some of your WAMP settings and capture information from there if you wish. One thing I would possibly capture would be the PHP My Admin database information showing that it's WordPress. This actually tells you all about it. And so just for my own reference, I'll capture the structure of my WordPress database. And I can just keep going on this page, or I can put this in as my database. That way we have it documented, and if we need to program it, I'll get used to that eventually. You can come back to it later. So this was online, and here I'm going to actually shrink this one a little bit. I can still read it there. And so that captures that. So you can see that I'm going to, as we go along, I'm going to document everything that we do. Each piece of WordPress is going to get new information so one of the things that we might include and it should be pretty much parallel both places we could have users and then I could put in my usernames and passwords here and I could keep going with that and so I would have local admins, Mary, online, admins, Mary, Mary Wynn. Again, this isn't really, obviously since I'm recording this, this isn't really private. You may or may not want to put that in your notebooks, but I find it incredibly helpful. I could at this point, if I wanted to, share this 
with somebody else. I do want you, if you're my student, to share it with me so I can see how it's going. And so that's just your brief introduction to using the online version of OneNote. The one on your computer is typically a little bit more powerful.